What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Test Drive. In this episode, we are looking at Parkitect Pre-Alpha 2. So this game was uh, kickstarted within the last, I don't know, probably year or so. Uh, they've been slowly working on it. And basically, it is a theme park management slash building game. Uh, isometric view, it is 3D. Um, so it's like I said, it's pre alpha, so it's very early in development. There's only so much you can do with it. So it's kind of like a fun little thing to play around with for now. Uh, you can build your paths, you can build paths upwards. Uh, let's see, you can just. Yeah, that, I really messed with that until just now, so that was kind of cool. And then you can right click to delete stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build some regular old paths here. And then we're going to build some cheap little flat rides. So let's see. There doesn't appear to be any sort of uh, research system yet. so. I think everything that's available in the game is unlocked from the start. So let's go with, uh, hmm, what should we build? Let's build a Gravitron. So you just bring it over here. I think you can mouse. Some rides you can use the mouse wheel. It zooms in at the same time, but it does seem to rotate unless I'm wrong. I was playing this a little bit before I recorded this video. Just so I wasn't a complete idiot when I, when I when I recorded it. So now we have to place the entrance and the exit. I like I like the way the uh, the stuff kind of plops down. It has like a Sim City feel to it. I just really like that feature. It makes plopping things a little more. Uh, what do you want to say? Gratifying. So you put a Q path there. There's some different designs. I think these are. What does that one look like by comparison? Looks... It's got like a tiled pattern to it, I guess. I don't, hmm, weird. Maybe that one's more square when you go around corners? Okay, so this... Okay. This one's kind of more rounded. So let's make them the same. And let's build an exit. What is this one? That looks like sand. But we don't want to have sand. We want asphalt. And then we can put our ride into testing. And it has the settings here. You can change the colors and stuff. Um, let's change this one to, let's see. Uh, the blue is kind of cool. Let's leave it like that. But as you can see, it's lots of options there for colors. What are these ones? Oh, that's like a highlight. Okay. Nifty. And then we have another one. All right. I don't know. My design skills are lacking. There we go. So yeah, we have uh, maintenance intervals. We have some stats for the ride. So excitement, intensity, nausea, how long the ride is, how many customers have been on it, when it was built, what people think about the ride. You can set the price here. I just leave my default. So we'll open that one. And let's see. We need some shops. So let's go with need some burgers of course you need some burgers and we need some soda some pop soft drinks there we go and what else do we need you gotta have toilets put it right beside the burger joint there you go it's gonna smell awesome 
And then we need an info kiosk. There's an info kiosk right there. So if you look at these things, let's see, man, that zooms in really far. Wow. They have these little icons over them and that signifies the inventory. So the cool thing is when you build a shop, it starts with no inventory. So you can see potatoes ordered 30 and it has zero. Same as salt, salt, ketchup. Uh, so that's for the fries and then hamburger has its own set of ingredients. So bun, meat, vegetables. So what we have to do, and it's kind of cool, breaks down each item, uh, by price. So you can kind of use that information to, uh, price your products. So that's a pretty cool kind of micromanagement type feature. So in order to get this stuff, you have to hire, I think it's a workman. So we open up the staff panel and workmen. So we just click hire. Then he shows up somewhere. Where's he at? Way down there. Kyle Mendoza. So he's wandering around. Eventually he'll make his way into the park. And oh look, these are the deliveries right there, I think. So this must be the deliveries for the shops come in over there. So he will pick this up and he will bring each crate to each shop before they can sell those items. So he's picking that up now. He is, what's he gonna pick up? He's just gonna wander right by it, okay. So he must not actually activate until he gets into the park, I guess. So we'll hire another one. So he's delivering vegetables to burgers already. Where's he at? That's weird. Okay, so this guy's delivering cheese to burgers. So he's got a crate of cheese. He's gonna haul that over here and he's gonna drop it in the burgers. So this won't actually start producing items until it gets all of its ingredients. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing. And of course we have the janitors, we have maintenance workers, mechanics. So I'll hire one of those. We have security guards, we have entertainers, and then we have basically all the tasks, I guess, that need to be performed. So like all these ones are available available to worker waiting for available worker so there's all the tasks in your park that have to be completed and they're just waiting to be assigned to somebody so probably the bigger your park gets the more workers you're gonna have to have to have obviously so like I don't know if there's gonna be like a whole logistics system in the future that'd be kind of neat I mean I'm kind of a logistics nerd though so that might appeal to me and might not appeal to anybody else. Anyway, let's uh, build another ride. We'll build one more ride and then we'll build a little roller coaster. Hmm, what do we want to build? Wave swinger, let's go. Put that over here. Put that in test. Actually, let's build so we can hit E and Q to rotate like that, like isometric style. Put that there, and then we can put this in testing. Apparently, you can also hold, how was it? I guess Alt and Middle Click or something, so you can free rotate. It's kind of cool. Doesn't appear to be any way to ride the rides yet. I don't know if that's even going to be a feature. I mean, it is a 3D engine, so like, I don't know how much of a a roller coaster tycoon esque feel they were going for it's it has a lot of similarities so that's definitely not a bad thing because I love roller coaster tycoon so now I don't know if it does it go like this let me hit okay so once you hit Q and E it kind of snaps back to the default views okay so we need some paths some of these Q lines probably too long for this little ride but What I usually do when I play these kind of games is you want the exits of the rides to come out near the entrance to another one. So they go on this one, they ride it, and they come off, and then they go on to the next one, and then repeat until they get sick. <laughs> so i got to open this one. This one's going to cost a dollar. Nausea is really high in that one. No real thoughts on that one yet. Let's go back to this view. What else do we have? Some decorations. 
So we do have some theming options. Barrels. Now can you free place these or... Oh, that's really cool. So there's not really a grid that you have to place everything on. Now how do I rotate these? I don't know if I can rotate these. possible that you can't rotate these yet. I could have swore I used the mouse wheel before to rotate one of these objects. There's probably a way to rotate it, I just don't know what it is. Space. Okay, there we go. So you can rotate it at 90 degree angles. Okay, that's cool. Bull rush. Dead tree. Let's get a smaller dead tree. This is cool. Ah, that's too big. Chain fences are huge. All right, well, you get the point. Flower boxes. So I really like that there's no grid for those items. I mean, there is a grid in the game. You can turn it on. Visualizers. So we have a grid. And we do have an underground so you can build tunnels and stuff. You can see your trash, and you can see your happiness. These guys look not very happy. I don't know what this button here does. I can't really figure it out. This little, it looks like a lightning bolt. You turn it on, and then you can turn it off. I haven't quite figured out what that does. There's a notifications thing up here, I think, but it doesn't seem to work yet. Or at least I haven't seen anything appear in it. Maybe I haven't played long enough. So... Uh, what else do we have here? Park info, send the guests home. I know you're waiting to see the roller coasters, but I have to get through this stuff first. Uh, we have some, so that's financials. We have some graphs. I don't really know exactly. So this is your money. Shops, I don't know what that is. Is that like the number of sh No. Must be shop income. Anyway, there's that. And guests. So this is like an overview of all of your guests. Alright. So once we've seen two rides, we've seen basically how they they work, so don't need to go through all the flat rides. Now we're gonna just quickly build a crappy little roller coaster. So these are the coasters that the game comes with so far. I don't have a lot of money, so I probably can't build a big one. So let's go with a wild mouse. Because I think these big roller coasters are going to cost too much money to make. I don't know if there's any cheats or anything, so. We will build this one. Let's do this over here. Oh, one other thing. Before I build that, the map is pretty big. Pretty big map. So you get all kinds of room to build your theme park. I don't know if that will be expanded in the future or or how that's going to work, but it should be more than enough room for most people. I mean, it's only pre-alpha, so there's only so much you can do so far. But it really feels really polished, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, so. Start with our station. So, station is selected, so I have to build a few stations. I don't know how many. And then, what's this? Block break. Break. So there's an entrance and exits lift. These are all the uh, gradients and the turns. Right marks. You can build more than one segment at a time. And then bulldoze. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's see, we have to turn off station. Let's build one more station. Turn station off. Turn lift hill on. And let's just go like... Now let's go up that, that, that level. And then can't go any steeper than that. That's weird. Okay, so let's level out. And then we'll turn around like this. And that's a steep turn. Then we'll go... Now we'll just go... Just turn off the lift hill. And we'll just drop it like it's hot. Straight down. Then we'll level out. Straight up again. Level out. Straight down. Well, not straight down. But we'll go down one more. 
these are always my favorite parts of roller coasters when you kind of go up and you get that like weightless at the top it's always fun so here we control the banking so we're gonna go like we're gonna do 15 degrees so we'll go into a 15 degree bank to the right and we'll go like this I can't even tell if that really banked up or not do that steep And then we'll straighten out over here. See how fast this one goes. All right. So I should probably do, let's do another, uh, let's go this way. And then by the time it gets to here, it should be slowed down a little bit. So let's go this and we'll go. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill somebody. Oh man. Sir, okay, we got block breaks. Now let's do breaks. Am I going flat, straight? Put the brakes on to Okay, there's no scroll here, so you have to actually type it in. We'll do eight. Eight point eighty eight kilometers per hour. Oh, that's way too slow. I didn't think it was going to be that slow. Okay, let's do 15 maybe. Do 15. And then we'll turn off the brakes and we'll go right. Then we'll go left. Then we'll go small left. Not banked. No, not banked. Okay. That might even be too slow. This is where you go into the tunnel. I should probably demonstrate the tunnel. I don't think I can afford... No, I should be able to afford the tunnel. Okay, well, let's do this then. Let's go back. Let's go down into a tunnel. Straight down. So we switch into underground mode. We'll go under the station. Or under, like we'll go this way, then we'll come around like this and go over it. I think we're above ground. Uh, that we're still kind of under, somewhat underground. So we gotta go up a little bit more. Okay, now we're flat. Actually, we can't go over that because it didn't go down deep enough. So I would have to go down a little bit more. Just to get that, uh, I don't know if I can switch out of underground. Okay, so now there's no tunnel sticking up uh, over, or sticking out of the top of the ground. So now I can go like this, and I'm doing it, uh, building on an angle for some reason. Why am I building on an angle? Oh, what a hot mess this is. So if I go like this and I come back up. And then we'll bank this way. I better do a Shara. They need more vehicles testing. I probably have to have block brakes for that. But let's see how much speed this thing carries when it comes out of this tunnel. All kinds, okay. Uh oh. This is already occupied. Alright, well. <laughs> broken neck for you guys. And then we'll straighten this out. Oh, that's gonna be brutal. And then we'll go. Nope. 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 Wrong button. That maybe? Don't want to go underground again and then we just join it back up. Alright. So now we have to build the entrance. And the exit. 
Oh, we should have put them. Wow, that's weird. Oh, no, that's all right. I, uh, it's just, it's levered. It's, it's uh, off the ground a little bit, so it's kind of weird. All right, so we'll put it into testing. Do I, can I have more than one car? Hmm. Only one train. Say blueprint. Follow it. Demolish it. Um. Yeah. No options for multiple trains. Maybe that's not a feature that they have yet. Or maybe I have to use the block brakes, but I don't know. Pretty sure Wild Mouse has... Don't really need block brakes for this one because it's so slow. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait, what's this? No, that's how many segments we build at a time. I don't see anything for multiple cars, multiple trains, so... We'll go with this, I guess, for now. Gives you a general idea of, anyway, how the, how the coaster system works. So we need to build a path. Hmm. Hmm. This is terrible. Terrible. There we go. There we go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Don't want to go underground. At least you can build tunnels underground. Or paths. Okay, so now we can go like this. Like this. Like this. Build this like this. There we go. Ghetto. You still don't have all your stuff yet? What do you need? You need cups and soft drinks. And ice. Why you know? Did all my employees, like, peace out? You're wandering around. Why are you wandering around when there's stuff to deliver? Sack. Fire. Peace. Fire another one. These three things are waiting to be delivered, but for some reason we're not delivering them. Hmm. They're all so depressed. It's a theme park. Like, holy crap. Like, what are you doing? They're all so depressed. Leaving the park. Why? Tiredness is up. You're hungry. Well, dude, there's a joint right there for burgers. Oh, that's cool. It shows you their path. You bought a soft drink, you bought a soft drink. Why did you not buy a hamburger? You have trash cans, so we need some trash cans. I'm not paying that much for a park map. Gravitron looks boring. Wave Swinger looks boring. There you go. Alright, well. I guess that's about it for this uh, test drive of Park Attack. I love these kind of games, so I could definitely see me, like, once this it's a little more updated i can definitely see me doing a series on this on this game i'm also looking forward to some upcoming other theme park games so stay tuned for that if you like that kind of stuff um but yeah thanks for watching and see you next time